shall not grow old, as we are left to grow old. Age shall not worry them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. When you go home, tell them of us, for they gave their tomorrow for our today. Let us pray. Let us individually and together commit ourselves to the cause of peace and reconciliation. Lord God, your Son proclaimed your peaceable kingdom in both word and deed. Open our hearts and minds, we pray, to receive his gift of peace. And as we seek to witness to your purpose of peace, give us generosity of spirit in times of disagreement, patient in times of difficulty, the desire to pray for those who oppose us, and above all, make us to be interpreters and bridge builders between those who are at enmity. This we ask in the name of Christ, who has destroyed every wall that divides us, 
and whose sacrifice has made our peace with you, the Father of all humankind. Amen. Amen. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. O God, lead us from death to life, from falsehood to truth. Lead us from despair to hope, from fear to trust. Lead us from hate to love, from war to peace. Let peace fill our hearts, our world and our universe. Amen. And a prayer for today. O Lord, our maker and our strength, from whose love in Christ we can never be parted, either by death or defeat. May our remembrance this day deepen our sorrow for the loss and waste of war. Make us more grateful to those who courageously gave their lives to defend this land and the Commonwealth. And may all who bear the scars and memories of conflict, past and present, know your healing love for the sake of Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. Amen. Amen. The commitment to peace. Let us pledge ourselves today to live as good neighbours to honour the past, to care for all who are in need, and to live at peace among ourselves and with all people. Lord God, Father of all, we pledge ourselves to serve you and this neighbourhood, to bring relief to all who are in need, and comfort to the sad, lonely and distressed. Keep us ever mindful of the struggles and achievements of former generations and of this place where we make our home, now and in the days to come. Amen. Strengthen our hearts and hands and minds, O Lord, to work together for peace. See you in one another and to seek your kingdom above all things, that your will may be seen to be done, and your kingdom come, through Jesus Christ, the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Amen. God grant the living grace, the departed rest, the Church, the Queen, the Commonwealth and all the world peace and concord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.
Thank you. And thank you, sir. Okay, really appreciate it. Thank you very much.